starts really, really shitty in almost all of his battles, but somehow puts himself in an impossible corner and has to fight back just to break even. So here we go. I know the fighting move's coming, and I switch in for the Intimidate, but it's special, so that's really fun. And I assumed it was Specs, which was really stupid, because that led me to leave Mence in, and da -da -da -da, die to a hidden power ice. Despite being specially bulky, that Aura Sphere crit really softened me up. And now I know it's sashed, and he already knows my Tyranitar. He's already taken down my Mence, which was stupid. And because he's sashed, he's not threatened by me. And I figure this guy's going to die anyways. So I'm going to set up my Stealth Rock, because that's actually really important, always. But now I know I'm going to die without taking out this freaking Lucario. Yeah, I know. Totally. Anyways, he Aura Spears and I Earthquake because I have to break his sash. <laughs> and the thing, and that really sucks because Salamence is dead. Swampert is dead. He's seen my Tyranitar. And I've seen nothing else of his but this Lucario. And it was a pain in my ass. I fucked around when I really shouldn't have been. And now I'm put myself in a really gay situation. And I have to fight back just to try and level off. And it pisses me off. I really need to have someone standing by with a lit cigarette just to burn me. Not to check. And I know he's got vacuum wave, so I have to sucker punch there. Um, and he brings in the Bronzong, and I, I'm hoping he's gonna just go for the Stealth Rock, and because thinking hypnosis is gonna miss. But guess what? He goes for hypnosis, and it hits. And I'm just like, what the hell? How come that never happens for me? This is weird. But he's trapped, and I'm like, if he has earthquake, I'm screwed but I have to go for it. I have to stay in. I have to do something about this now. And he psychs me, and I let such a sigh of relief go. Oh my god. Now he's stuck psychicking me, and I'm still asleep, and if he gets a special defense drop, I was gonna chuck my DS through the window. And I'm still asleep, and he's still psychicking me, and it's still doing nothing, and I finally set up a sub. And now I get to finally see how much Thunderbolt can do. And I sped this up because this is really fucking long and boring and it's not pleasant to watch. So it's going to be a three hit KO because I have to keep setting up subs. I have to be super, super safe, super, super careful. I, I want to have a sub set up for the next thing he switches in so I can take it out with a Thunderbolt. Okay, shut up, Mr. X. Um, so yeah, the stall, stall war, takedown war, the fucking long ass boring war is about to be over, and I'm happy, I get my sub up, and he, I get to hopefully destroy something with a ridiculously powered thunderbolt, but he brings in a reg ice, and that's like, oh my god, it's like the fucking most special wally thing ever that I could see, like it took that thunderbolt like a beast, that didn't even do a quarter, and he does, he does ice beam, and um, I know he's only got Bolt Beam going on, and I could just as easily do the same old sub thingy here, but that was going to be too long and too boring, and despite knowing I have to be really, really safe and careful, I was like, screw it, I'm not doing that, that's gay. So I bring in Tyranitar to take the Ice Beam, as he does, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm hopefully finally get to set up with this guy. It's the second time I'm using him, and I, I'm pretty sure he's going to be cool. I'm not sure I like the moveset, though. I don't know. But he paralyzes me, and when a reg ice is faster, you know something's funky. So I get up a curse, and now I'm like, all right, I got Lucario out of the way. His fighting type is gone. I should be straight with this thing. And he, I could have continued to set up curses, but I didn't. Again, I was lazy. I really shouldn't have been. I have to stop. I have to stop being so picky while I'm in these battles. Anyways, I fire punch and it kills it. And I'm like, all right, come on, Titar, do your stuff. And he brings in a freaking prime up, and I'm like, God damn it! So I bring in Magazine just to die, because I'm like, if this thing is scarfed, I am screwed. I am royally screwed. He gets a crit just to smite me. Didn't really matter at all. And so I have a I have a a theory going on here. I bring in Relicant because it's pretty defensive, despite not being a wall. 
and he close combats me, and I'm thinking I should be able to live this just barely. And because I didn't, that really made me start to think he was banded and that Doug Trio could handle this. It would have been nice to know that earlier without wasting my relicanth, but um, I didn't. And I was just like, okay, Doug Trio, please be faster, please. And I am faster. And I was just like, oh, yes. And after two close combats, that's definitely going to take him out. It would have after one even, which really makes me wish I didn't switch out my relicanth. Um, so he brings in a Blaziken, or no, a Typhlosion, and I'm like, if this thing's scarfed, I'm screwed also. But I decided to go for it, because I, I have to. I have no other options at this point, and I take it out, luckily. Anyways, yeah, Xenon was showing off his Relicanth in his last vid, and I'm like, yeah, Relicanth is so cool. So I switched it into this team, and I didn't get to use it set. So rate, comment, sub. Peace.